The Jhelum Basin in Kashmir, northern India, is dotted with wetlands. At the base of the bowl-shaped basin are the valley wetlands between 1585 to 1600 meters above mean sea level. The Dal Lake and Willow Lake are key valley wetlands with major touristic attraction. Located just above the fringes of Pir Punjal ranges are the forested wetlands within 2000 to 2500 meter altitude. At the crest are glaciated lakes of altitudes above 3000 meters which remain frozen for most parts of the year. These wetlands store the glacial melt water and rainfall and release the water gradually during the lean winter months. With their huge water storage capacity, they prevent floods and droughts downstream in the Kashmir Valley. Thus, despite a limited period of rainfall and snow, they are supporting agriculture and fisheries throughout the year. As providers of water, fish and vegetables, these wetlands are the key to food security. Tourism within these lakes is the prime economic activity for the state. These wetlands also serve as important staging grounds for medium and long distance migratory geese, ducks, shorebirds, cranes and other species that breathe in the northern latitudes of Central Asia and Siberia. The wetlands of the Jhelum Basin are fed by the river and stream flows emanating from the Himalayan glaciers. The Himalayas contain more than 35,000 square kilometers as ice, making them the largest store of water outside the polar ice caps. They are the water towers for more than one-third of humanity. The entire Himalayan region is facing tremendous pressure due to climate change. The rate of warming of the Himalayas has been much greater than the global average of 0.74 degrees Celsius during the last 100 years. The rate of warming above 3,000 meters is estimated to be three times higher than at sea level. Rising temperatures within the Himalayas have led to shrinking and retreat of glaciers. Most of the glaciers within the region have been receding at an alarming rate and several small ones have already disappeared. The rapid glacial melt has led to a gradual increase in the overall volume of water available within the basin. The shrinking glaciers are less and less able to store excessive precipitation and to provide a stable of melt water. Thus, wetlands acquire a central position in adapting to variability of the flows by the inherent capacity to store runoff, regulating water availability downstream and preventing sudden floods. However, Developmental planning within the region has failed to understand their role in adapting to the impacts of climate change. The wetlands of Jhelum Basin are rapidly being degraded. Rapid inundation of catchments is leading to excessive amounts of silt reaching the lake. Against more than 50% of very dense forests in the 1950s, presently only 30% remain. Added to the pressure of deforestation is the grazing pressure by more than a million strong population of pastoralists and nomadic tribes like the Bakrawals and Gujars. Scores of wetlands and their associated marshes along the river Jhelum have been reclaimed for agriculture and willow plantations. The rivers carry the untreated wastes from urban centers which clog these wetlands. 
As a consequence, the storage capacity of the wetlands is being lost. In the last 100 years, over one-fifth of the lake area and more than half of the marshes have been converted for willow plantations and agriculture. With ever-increasing volumes of water in the river and decreasing capacity to accommodate the flows, there are more frequent floods followed by severe droughts. Changes in hydrological regimes of the wetlands have led to changes in biodiversity. The most prized and ecologically sensitive Nilumbo and Trapa species have given way to more hardy species. Same has been the case with the fisheries, which have declined by more than 60% over the last five decades. The ultimate impact has been on the livelihoods, especially within 31 villages which surround the lake. Almost half the people earn an income less than a dollar a day. In addition, they are forced to the vagaries of declining water quality, floods, droughts and rapid erosion of resource base. Wetlands International South Asia has partnered with the state government for development of a plan for the lake. Central is restoration of the capacity to adapt to more extreme and changing water regimes. This means removal of willow plantations in the lake area and rejuvenation of the marshes. Ecotourism has been identified as a good opportunity to save the unique nature and help the people to make a living. With support of Wetlands International, the state government is committed to save the values of Willard Lake. With a change in climate, mountain wetlands like these become crucial to stabilize flows and provide sufficient water.